A new generation of consumers shying away from whiskey and other heavier spirits and looking instead to this lighter, sometimes sweeter beverage. Today, most distilleries are making a lighter, more palatable style of gin with subtle nuances and a softer spirit like G Vine Gin de France. Here's David Wiley. <laughs> Grapes, they're one of the most popular crops in the world. And in the beverage industry, of course, grapes are traditionally used to make wine, while grain is used to make liquor. But a French distiller is introducing to America a unique gin made with grapes and vine blossoms to create what many are calling a game changer. Uh, so many things. So first and foremost, Givine has not been made from any grain liquor or grain base, but instead made from grape. And on top of that, usually gins, of course, include juniper and a ton of other spices and floral notes. But we actually distillated some wine flowers, which is the flower you have right before the fruit. And instead of harvesting the grape, we harvested the flower, created a distillate, and ended up with a very floral, very, very smooth and velvety gin that we believe is going to be a game changer in the market. The result is Florizon, a gin found in a distinctive green bottle that's smoother and has a silkier taste than traditional gins. Givine is very popular in Europe and we wanted to bring it first in California and Los Angeles and are very excited about the impact on the market and to try to shake a little bit all the gin that there is out there with more floral notes, more accessibility for everyone that has a relationship to rekindle with gin in general. And that rekindling has begun with a recent resurgence in the popularity of cocktails. But the story of Givine is a journey that began more than 25 years ago in France. Givine got started in, two, in around the 2000s. Um, so my father, John Sebastian Robiquet, started first and foremost to work around the grapes for at least 30 years, either in cognac or in wine and across many, many different alcohol that come from the vineyards. And in 2006, he started to work on Givine by actually accumulating and mixing different flavors, mixing different ideas, and with that, there was like a whole lot of thought and process and even a little bit of crazy in there to add to the normal uh, components of juniper that you find in the gin, some one flowers that actually really, really elevate the whole process and the whole product itself. And the story of Jovine is continuing with the recent launch of Florizon in Los Angeles. Florizon is really the entering point of what we craft as a gin. This is the most accessible, this is the smoothest and the most floral that we have here in the market. So much craft, so much uh, thought and, and, and then so much I don't, passion put into it that we're just absolutely thrilled to launch that today in LA. To learn more about Javine and get some great cocktail recipes, check out g-vine.com. 